The best case scenario is more than one security officer on campus and possibly having one of those like um, officers as an undercover. That I would think, and uh, what do you call it, rotating or roving officers, a group of officers that go ahead and rotate uh, from campus to campus to do a surprise, what do you call it, um, surprise inspections or what do you, or surprise presence. What it is is that then students don't know when these officers or people will be on campus, so they can't plan anything. Um, Inter interesting to note, though, is the whole scenario that the guy who just did this shooting at the school, he had a lot of incidences before where law enforcement obviously did not take it seriously or handle it appropriately. So, But in this scenario, um, I would say at least two officers per school in uniform that are not just sitting their asses up in some office uh, with the declaration and title of security resource officer or whatever you want to call it, campus-based resource officer, where when they're out the office, they're roving around, they're checking stuff. Um, so two and a, a group of officers that are just on the covers that are charged with going from school to school and making surprise visits. So you have two to three of those in addition to the two that you already have who just go to the campuses. You can label them as volunteers, whatever, whatever you want to call them, have them volunteer of the day, whatever. And they come around. They're not listed as police officers. They're not, but they're able to, you know, interact and ask students questions like, hey, how's it going? Um, anything coming up? And actually, one of the things that you might have a suggestion box um, place it in critical areas like your lunchroom, like your gyms, like your library, and like your main office, wherein students can anonymously put in tips of security or other related issues. So the kids can report it, and kids often know. They wake up, I mean, they go to, they are on Snapchat, they know what's going on, and they'll know before a parent does. They, they have planned, planned um, fights, whatever. So put an anonymous box, an anonymous box in different areas, key vital areas like your gyms, like your media center, like your lunchroom, like your offices, uh, your main office. And let kids report in your guidance office and let the kids report. Hey, look, today something's going to happen. Check it in the morning. Check it at noonday. Check it in the evening. See if anybody drops something in there to let you know a fight or something's going to happen that day or within that week or within that month. Let the kids be the ones to speak out anonymously. Okay. Because on some campuses, they do not have the freedom to speak out because the administration is not responsive. And have it as an app. Put an app out. You want to report something at your school? Put an app out. Put a website out. Report here. Say something, say help.com. Say something, say help.com. S A Y S O M E T H I N G. S A Y A T L P dot com. Say something, say help. Especially in Wake County, North Carolina. You might want to try that. Um, thank you. Hey, I look horrible too, by the way. Shouldn't take a video with a crappy looking sweater too. Huh? What do you think? Yeah, crappy. <laughs>